coconut is an example in which initially the endosperm is free nuclear we all cherish the coconut water or coconut milk a lot that liquid is the free nuclear endosperm and slowly uh, you all know that if you crack open the coconut later you will find minimum amount of water is there the reason is as the coconut fruit matures its endosperm starts changing from free nuclear into cellular that means cytokinesis will start or you can say the liquid form of endosperm has changed into the solid form of endosperm so coconut is a beautiful example of two type of endosperm according to the initial stage and the final stage <coughs> so in free nuclear endosperm the the nuclei remain as such there is no cell cytokinesis or cell wall formation so in most of the plants it is the most common type of endosperm but coconut this is followed by the cell wall formation the next type is cellular endosperm cellular endosperm is a endosperm in which the first division itself is nuclear division followed by the cytoplasmic division either in the horizontal manner or transverse manner or in the longitudinal manner or the vertical manner and uh, that means here there is no cytokinesis following the karyokinesis here every karyokinesis is followed by a cytokinesis and a large number of mitotic division takes place and finally a cellular endosperm is formed the easiest examples are from solanaceae family petunia datura and balsam the third type is called as the hilubial type which is not mentioned in the ncrt i told already uh, in this you will find that the first division is mitotic division which causes a fo formation of a larger micropylar cell and a small chelazal cell this cell may or may not undergo free nuclear cell division if it undergoes it will finally develop into hostorium hostorium is a structure which increases the surface area to absorb more nutrition so it does not play much uh, an important or significant role the main thing is the large micropylar cell will undergo a large number of free nuclear divisions and those divisions will cause it to appear like free nuclear endosperm but the difference is that its first division is cellular and the final divisions are only karyokinesis no cytokinesis so in this case you will find a large number of free nuclei coconut is an exception where free nuclei are followed by cellular endosperm Uh, the second method is from the beginning itself every nuclear division is followed by cell wall formation in this case only the first division is cellular rest of the other divisions are free nuclear example maximum of the monocots and uh, have hilobial type of endosperm now why what is the role of endosperm throughout the process of this endosperm formation food is absorbed to a greater abundance reason is but the zygote is supposed to start dividing now to develop into an embryo so the embryo formation requires a continuous supply of food and the supply of food always come from the endosperm so endosperm amount is going to be shrinking or decreasing as the embryo is developing Uh, in maximum plants you will find endosperm finishes off that means dicot plants generally with some exceptions and there are some plants uh, which are called monocot plants you will find that the endosperm will persist in the mature seed also so the next thing is embryogenesis so embryogenesis is the process of formation of embryo from zygote and for this process nourishment is provided by the endosperm now zygote as you have seen in this picture before the zygote is present towards the micropylar end is present towards the micropylar end so the zygote uh, uh, grows in size uh, remember zygote is a diploid structure it's a universal law and then zygote undergoes growth becomes bigger in size develops a cell wall around it and now it undergoes an unequal transverse division unequal transverse division means nucleus is equally divided but the cytoplasm is unequally divided it divides into two cells 
the micropylar end cell is now referred to as a basal suspensor cell and the chalazal end cell is called as the apical end embryo cell. Uh, this cell simply develops into a suspensor and this one will develop into the embryo of the next generation. Now this cell and uh, these two cells undergo 1-1 uh, mitotic division, this undergoes a transverse division, this one undergoes a vertical division and finally you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 cells are there that's why this condition is called as tetrad. But if you pay attention, there are only two cells present in this embryo. So it's a two cell stage of the embryo. Now this embryo, uh, now this embryo and this suspensor which carries only two cells right now starts undergoing multiple number of divisions. Uh, the, uh, the suspensor cell, the, the topmost suspensor cell will not divide anymore. It will only become bigger in size, larger surface area and is called as hostorium. Uh, again, same thing, hostorium is something which increases the surface area to absorb the nutrition. So, uh, the next to the topmost cell or you can say the basal cell will undergo a number of divisions to form 7 to 8 cells. Now, this whole structure is referred to, to as suspensor as it's, it's given in the NCRT also. Now, uh, the embryo which was only at the two cell stage should be better called as the pro-embryo. This pro-embryo from two cell stage now undergo another plane of division in this manner. So, please remember first division occurred in this plane, second division occurred in this plane. So, you can only see in one direction you can only see two cells but, but by this stage two cell situation has changed into the four cell situation. So two cell embryo, a pro embryo has now changed into a four cell embryo. First division of the embryo was like this. Second division is like this. Now the next division will be in this plane. So once this four cell situation of the pro embryo undergoes another division that is in the horizontal or transverse plane, it will cause formation of eight cells, eight cells which are visible on the paper on this side and eight will be below it. So total number of cells now are eight, it is called as the octant.